Big Lottie Gang, what's good? Throw the fours up in the chat. We are back with day three of our prep for preseason series. Today's workout is straight cardio. Since today's workout is all cardio and then court work, I'm gonna have somewhat of a lighter breakfast. Just cause I don't want too much on my stomach as I go into this workout because it's gonna be high intensity cardio. We ain't trying to throw up. <laughs> but all jokes aside, since today is mainly cardio, I don't want y'all to just watch me run, watch me on the bike the whole time. So I actually wanna have a little bit of vulnerability with you guys if that's okay with you during this workout. Keep it simple, we're gonna keep it light with just these overnight oats that I'm gonna heat up and basically just make oatmeal. Carb load a little bit, you know, be ready to go. So with that being said, I'll see y'all at the gym. What's good, my boy? How you doing, bro? I can't complain. All right, be safe, Jay. You leave some weight in there for me? Yeah, I can Nah, I don't need it anyway, I got cardio today. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we just pulled up to the gym and as you heard, today, it's straight cardio. It's gonna take a lot of discipline to get through today. Y'all know we are gonna get through it. For today, we got on the full Nocta Fit. No, they don't sponsor me, but they were nice enough to send me some items from their new basketball line, and I ain't gonna lie, this is kind of tough. The shorts with the compression top is long sleeve, but we are gonna stay bundled up because it's a little brick outside right now. We wanna make sure we get a good sweat in during this cardio. No more need to talk, let's get into it. I like starting out on the bike because it's low impact. You know, in the sense of protecting my joints, not really putting too much pressure on my knees, my hips, nothing like that. But also, it can be as intense as I want it to be. Turning up the resistance and so forth and so on. Just making sure that I get my heart rate up and it's a great warm up, cool down, and it can be the workout in itself. First five minutes is more of like the warm up. That's the time that I'm gonna use to talk to y'all. Then it's gonna get intense as we move along. I'm gonna start turning up the resistance a little bit more and then we are gonna burn out for that last 60 seconds to two minutes before we move on to the Stairmaster. I ain't gonna lie, I'm rocking with this Nocta Fit. Let me know what y'all think. It's lightweight as hell. I feel like I don't got nothing on, for real, pause. Again, they don't sponsor me. Come to think of it, I think I need to clarify that for y'all. A lot of the brands that y'all see me wear do not sponsor me. Gymshark, Nocta, etc. Just because I shout them out in my videos doesn't mean that they sponsor me. As a creator, influencer, whatever you want to call me, with the more experience that you gain in the field, you learn that your image matters way more than before. Not just in the sense of whatever content you post, but also the brands that you choose to represent. Don't get me wrong, I would love for them to sponsor me. It becomes something that you have to be mindful of when you're wearing different things in videos and shouting out different brands. It's almost as if you're giving out a stamp of approval. And you don't want to just give that stamp to anybody. I wear the brands that I wear not only because I like the products that they have out, but also because I identify with the company's ideals and values and can incorporate those things or find those different values within myself and within my content. Y'all have seen my logo, motivate, persevere, inspire, and entertain. Those are the four words that surround the BB44. The brands that I wear in some way, shape, or form also reinforce those same values. Now that topic is a perfect bridge to what I wanted to talk to y'all about earlier. The perspective of being a creator, influencer, again, whatever you want to call me, is so skewed. There is a certain stigma that surrounds that title because when you tell somebody, oh, I'm a, I create content on social media, or, oh, I'm an influencer, they start to picture the stereotype of somebody either just setting up a ring light, dancing in front of it, or only showing off their body, or just in general not taking you very serious. I'm not gonna lie, that partially takes a toll. Because y'all hear me say on a regular basis, I'm not a bodybuilder, I'm not a powerlifter, I'm a basketball player that just likes to pick up heavy stuff. But that mentality carries over to me creating content as well. I'm not an influencer that plays basketball. I'm a basketball player that just so happened to be entertaining enough to become a content creator also. Basketball has always been my priority. Notice that I've taken all of my experiences and turned them into content in some way, shape, or form. Whether it's vlogging, posting the highlights, or making skits out of situations that I've been through. Turning up the satire just a little bit to make it even more entertaining. With that being said, I do want to express my gratitude and appreciation for everybody who's supported me throughout this whole journey, on and off the court. It's taken a lot of work to get here, and I feel like I've grown not only as a creator, but as an athlete and as a person in general. I know y'all see me uploading these workouts, tutorials, and giving out the advice, but y'all teach me stuff every day too, whether it's about myself or about the world that we live in. With that being said also, on a more serious tip, I want to be a little bit more vulnerable and transparent with you guys. Mentally, 
the grind of balancing all of this gets exhausting. And to get hot, I don't know if that's because I'm getting emotional or if it's because my heart rate's going up. But I'm telling you all this as a way of reassuring you to keep going in whatever you're passionate about. This started out as a hobby for me. Now it's to a point where I can comfortably live off of what I make from social media, but I'm not satisfied with that. So I push myself to go even further and continue my basketball career and merge the two worlds together even more. Like I said, mentally and emotionally, it gets exhausting. I'm still human at the end of the day. I still have my flaws, I still have my own personal struggles. What up, Carl? What's up, baby? <sighs> w guy. Oh, of course, ain't got no choice. For the biggest and strongest dudes in the gym and still one of the nicest guys here. <laughs> Everyone here is pretty nice though. It does get challenging trying to operate and navigate through these worlds with so many eyes on you, so many expectations, so many stereotypes, so many stigmas. And it genuinely does get to a point where you can have a thousand positive comments, but that one negative comment really hits you and it feels like it's a thousand times louder than every other comment that you saw. I get a lot of people who try to discredit me and the work that I put in and my journey to get to where I am. So again, I do wanna thank the real ones for supporting me throughout this whole journey. But I wanna reassure y'all that it's not easy. <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting, uh, getting a little emotional, hold up. <laughs> you guys have provided a strong support system and foundation to where that negativity starts to fade a little bit more and more each day. And while it still affects me, I do want y'all to know I ain't perfect. And I may look like I handle it well on camera, but I've had my moments of, I don't wanna necessarily self-diagnose depression or nothing like that. I feel like that's a little disrespectful to the people who are really going through worse. But again, I have my own struggles. It's not, it's not like I'm living this lavish lifestyle just making videos. I work my ass off and put a lot of work into this content for you guys. And everything that I've gained along the way, I've put back into making that content for you guys. Whether it's things like upgrading my equipment, y'all see we're recording this on a 4K camera now. For the last three years, we've been doing everything on an iPhone 8 Plus, and I thought I was doing something with the iPhone 14 Pro Max, and then the camera just became a game changer. I don't get to that point without you guys. So I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna continue to put out this content. I'm gonna continue to work my ass off and serve as somebody's motivation, somebody's inspiration for them to keep going in whatever they're doing in life. So while I did wanna give a little bit more of a perspective and reality check, I also wanna show you guys the appreciation that you guys deserve. Giveaway coming at 100K on the YouTube. We approaching very quickly too. <laughs> Starting to sweat for real. We're gonna turn up this intensity on the bike, knock out these next whew, 15 minutes. Let's do it. Let's move on to the Stairmaster. I don't know if y'all could tell, but I'm sweating OD under this shirt. Stairs ain't no joke. I like to stay on my toes or like the balls of my feet when I'm on the Stairmaster. I get a good burn in the calves. So after 20 minutes on the bike, 15 minutes on the Stairmaster, 35 minutes of cardio so far, and we're not done. Time to hit the court with this cardio with some good old fashioned running, but not just any running. Today we've got five sets of something that no hooper wants to hear when they go into practice. 17s, sideline to sideline, 17 times. We gotta make it in under a minute. Gotta make it in under a minute five times. If we don't make it in under a minute, doesn't count. This means that we have to hold ourselves accountable. It takes a different level of discipline because I know that I could just dead walk out of here and not have to do these, but we have higher hopes for ourselves. If you wanna be different, you gotta work different. I ain't gonna lie, we knocking these out five straight. Not, we not gonna waste no time messing up on one of them and then have to restart all over again. Nah, let's come in, get this done, and get out of here. Doubt that y'all wanna spend five minutes of your time just watching me run. So I'm actually gonna take the mic off. I'll record one set and I'm guessing that y'all can assume that I did all five. I know a lot of y'all have trust issues on the internet. If you choose not to believe me, that's on you. But the results show once it comes to game time. Let's knock this out.
Now, typically a court is 50 feet wide, but here the court is a little small. It's only 48 feet wide. So we actually did 18 instead of 17 on these. I turn my music off. Make sure we don't get copyright. That's it for today. Feeling good, looking good. Now, you know we had to get some free throws up before we got up out of there. But the fatigue was hitting on a different level for today. Gotta be mindful of keeping ourselves healthy in the process of this new split. So I don't necessarily consider this an official court work session, but we did shoot around and go through the motions of some of the moves that we've been practicing. Little bit of bag work, little bit of creativity, but after an intense cardio session like that, it gives us the opportunity to slow down and work on the mechanics of each move. Technique, footwork, and placement rather than intensity at game speed. I was just barely able to dig up enough strength to get this dunk down. Yeah, that was weak. We gotta get some fuel in the tank. Yesterday's cardio was fairly intense i'm debating on coming back for my session later i'm lying like shit i'm definitely about to come back in here later tonight and after we went home and had our protein shake that's exactly what we did now today's session has a lot of shots off the dribble so we warmed up with this pickup series this is where we get in the ball to our shot pocket as quick as possible figuring out your hand placement and foot placement for your jumper this will also help you get your shot off quicker when dribbling with your dominant hand mechanically speaking it's usually harder to shoot off the dribble with your dominant hand this is because the placement of your dominant hand during a dribble is almost the exact opposite of what it needs to be for a shot to get off so naturally it takes longer to get your hand behind and under the ball to flick your wrist the motion can also feel awkward for a lot of hoopers so we try and cut that down as much as possible i can already hear the pick me's in the comment section i'm right-handed and i actually shoot better when i'm dribbling with my right here's a cookie now let's move on now here you see we're doing ball manipulation combos into soft jumpers at close range working on ball control and footwork getting into the pickups as we cover space and add a soft touch to that jumper yeah y'all know we wasn't getting out of these after all of that we still putting up free throws now, I was actually a little short on time today. I didn't realize that the gym was closing early this night. But here I'm going through different options coming out of a pick and roll at the top of the key. Here we're snaking a flat ball screen to get the defender on our hip and then get to a mid-range jumper. Now, imagine setting up for the ball screen and the defender disrespects you by going under. We're going to have to let it fly. Obviously, we're going to have to use our imaginations a little bit as we go through all of these moves coming out of this situation. Downhill off the flat screen, play through the gaps, finish at the rim. Hey! Same thing on the other side and then add a little bit of finesse to the finish. Even got into some action where we turned down the screen and attacked the open space rather than attacking the basket. It's crazy how versatile the pick and roll is and how many options we have coming out of just this one spot alone. Unfortunately, I forgot to record after I left the gym this night. But after we finished our free throws, we showered, stretched, and had some spaghetti for dinner tonight. I'll try to be better as we go through the rest of the series. But thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you can tune in tomorrow. Big Lottie Gang, four's up. We out.